Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a video topic I haven't really talked about before. This is extremely important and this will create very, very powerful spiritualists and it's really easy. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to open your hand chakras. And this is very necessary if you'd like to become a powerful spiritualist. Now, what are your hand chakras? Because uh, we have chakras everywhere. People are like, I thought there were seven chakras. You have a whole bunch. You, you have a lot more. <laughs> you, have over, <laughs> you have a whole bunch. All right, there's over 100. Let's just say that. Uh, I'm not trying to complicate it for people, but we're focusing on the hand chakras. Why are these chakras important? It's because you can literally channel energy with these chakras. You can channel healing energy. You can channel uh, discernment energy. So like if you'd like to be in a, a room and you don't, if you don't want to pick up on other people's energy, but you would like to read the room, you can just kind of feel if the room feels hot, cold, uh, warm. If your hand has a bad feeling, a good feeling, etc., you'll just read it with your hands. So it's not happening with the rest of your chakras. You're not reading the room with your heart chakra because guess what? You want to protect your heart chakra. So, and uh, in this video, yes, necklaces are, are the most important. They're the most powerful. Although you can, I mean, bracelets help with hand chakra work as well. I use the my own bracelets, the ones that I use. They're good. But keep in mind, you have two hands, a yin and a yang. Uh, more about hand chakras and why they're so important. So with hand chakras, you have to keep in mind they're extremely important because uh, they're your abundance centers. They're giving and receiving. They're, they protect. What happens if uh, someone gets too close to you? You put your fists up. So your hand chakras do a whole lot, and it's really important for you to tell how and what they do because you can connect your guides with your hand chakras you can feel your guides sometimes you can feel certain energies uh essentially this gift can develop into other, other things if you get good at it and you're consistent uh some people are naturally born with the ability and some people have to develop it but the first question i'm going to ask you guys watching my videos uh video versus videos you, know, you i know a lot of you watch all my videos but take your hand and and maybe we're gonna find out right now where you're at with your hand energy center. Because most of you have your hand chakras open, but you're used to ignoring energy. Once your hand chakras open, you'll be able to feel every kind of energy in the entire, in the entire body, the chakra system, the universe, uh, different realities, etc. You'll be able to do a lot more. You can actually start leaving your body just with your hand chakras. So you kind of uh, pull your etheric hand out of the hands and then you'll like when you're sitting down and meditating and you want to get out of your body you can first start with your hands because it's very easy and your hands will come outside of your hands etc but i'm going to find out where you guys are at right now so this is an interactive video step one take your hand and just look at your hand and be like okay how does my hand feel do i feel energy and the thing is most of you are feeling energy but you are expecting way more like oh i'm supposed to feel like fire or like something like that no it's supposed to be tingling so take your hand, and if it feels tingling, if you feel just general energy moving around, it's because your hands are pretty much antennas. Like, they're just spiritual antennas. For the spiritually gifted people, your hands do a whole lot more. Uh, this is why I'm very strict on who I give handshakes to, who I let close to me, etc. Because if my hand chakras detect that the person has a really bad or off energy, uh, they're going to get the left hand. Basically, I'll give them a le left fist bump, and that dismisses the person. That's a really good way to send someone off as well i made a youtube video about that i'm smelling it went from gingerbread to cigarettes but i guess someone over there is smoking cigarettes but i was just smelling gingerbread uh what a combination <laughs> but uh with the hand chakras <laughs> with the hand chakras you everything's unlocked with these chakras you can actually open other chakras manually by putting your hands over them and you can pray over chakras etc there's lay on hands etc there's so many different things you can do with the hand chakras it's literally limit limitless it's fully limitless now guys look at your hand ask yourself do i feel my energy with my hands a lot of you will say yes a lot of you will be like i don't feel anything well you are feeling something if you are a heavy meat eater or if you eat pork beef uh 
pork beef or chicken that's enough to stop you from feeling energy in your hand chakra because you're eating something that's dead and it's inside you so you're used to training yourself not to feeling the energies of that and it sounds harsh but it's the truth i didn't really figure this out until later on and i didn't really want it to be true but you can't change facts now ask yourself do you feel your hands and i'm gonna teach you guys more about how to do this so now wrap your hands together i'm holding this video i'm, I'm holding this camera with uh <laughs> one hand so wrap your hands together really fast for about seven seconds as fast as you can and pull them apart just fully pull your hands apart and be like okay they're staticky that's what you're supposed to be feeling that's the energy for the people who already feel energy it's going to be more staticky it's going to be you're going to be able to do things with that static you're going to create energy balls and uh people do reiki like this which a lot of you should not be doing reiki some of you are not in a position to be doing reiki i'll make a future video about that a lot of you when you accidentally a good 90% of people doing Reiki, when they go to give energy, they're, accident they're accidentally taking it because energy works from a high to low gradient. So if a person has higher energy than you and you're a low energy person trying to do Reiki, which I'm not, I'm not insulting anyone, uh, that lower energy person will actually actually stop the higher, higher energy person, making them tired, sleepy, drained, and they're not going to feel right. And the Reiki is going to feel kind of fishy. And a lot of you have that happen. Even... Even the, the world's top Reiki professional, if they're not 100% aligned, then you're going to get sapped. It's called sapped. Uh, different things with hand, hand chakras and saps. Energy vampires will try to steal your energy with their hands. It's literally, like, like I said, it's an antenna. It's a prong. So when they tap, if you ever pay attention, when someone with low energy taps you, pay attention to, the, to wherever they just tap you, your skin, your the back of your hand etc and you'll notice it's tingling most of you think that's just the, the feeling that they touched you and that's the after feeling that's energy that's the after feeling of energy physical law runs upon spiritual law so you have to keep in mind that that is energy the lower energy the person or the more deficit you'll feel tired sleepy or drained because they touched you now uh, what happens when two high energy people touch each other or like give each other a tap then they put off a lot of light it's literally light with light it makes a brighter light low energy person goes to a higher energy person it saps the light it dims the light until it comes back in the next few days uh now it's for the people who just rub their hands together and they're feeling energy and they're like yay i'm feeling energy now cool what can you do with that energy you can push the energy you can pull the energy you can use the energy to heal you can use your most importantly you can use this in prayers so you rub your hands together before prayers and you visualize you can visualize the energy as light and you wiping the light over you you can do a whole bunch of things this is literally limitless and all of you will come up with different things to try differently because i'm not going to say one thing that you guys can uh do but here so rub your hands together guys Ooh, i'm going to teach you guys something really cool right now you want to see how this hand chakra uh, south florida so you want to <laughs> you want to see how hand chakras are really cool and the power of words and then you can use words to bless your hand chakras too which i'll teach you about in one second this will get this will be really cool for you guys now take your hands rub them together as fast as you can and pull them apart about it one inch you'll say the words happy joyous exciting loving just you'll just say a bunch of good words and just focus on words like euphoria words about happy and you'll keep saying happy and then you'll just keep adding words and then you keep saying the word happy and rub your hands together with the inch apart put them together close again open it close it open it close it you're getting those hand chakras activated and going this is one way you can exercise your hand chakras because i did say i teach you guys how to exercise it this is you play with your hand chakras you can play with it i mean life is fun life is supposed to be beautiful like, Ooh, we can't play with our chakras uh some of you play with much worse some of you play with fire okay and then you get burnt mm. but uh rub your hands together and then you pull them apart say happy and then you'll pull it apart to a point where it's it's about uh just however you you guys will have the intuition maybe it's a foot apart maybe it's a few inches apart and then you'll say happy and then after about a mi minute two minute three minute four minute five minutes later you'll just take this energy that you just rub with your hand chakra the warmth the tingly the static that you feel and wipe it down your face you can re-wrap your hands together if you want to regain the charge if you feel like it's kind of being lost and then you'll say happy again you'll just say euphoria good news just and you'll wipe it down your chest 
you wipe it on your shoulders wipe it on your arms wipe it on your uh your legs your feet etc and just monitor how you feel afterwards you're gonna notice you feel really good and it's out of nowhere it's like what's this it's energy and it comes from your hand chakras if you want a really simplified version of this because you feel like you're someone who overthinks exercises take your hand and rub it together and then just say into your hand into your hand chakra happy say it nice and loud and then just push your hand against your chest or over your heart and watch the little feeling that pops up watch pay attention to uh, some of the chemicals your brain's releasing because you'll be like ooh. You, just, you feel like you just drank a Red Bull or just you feel like some kind of like <laughs> tickly feeling. That's the power of the hand chakras. You can literally channel words, channel energy, channel healing. Most important, most importantly, you can channel prayers. So when you're praying and you're talking to God, you're like, okay, I wish for this person to get better. I wish for this person to get better. I, I wish for this person to... And then you can... Re it really puts you in the prayer mode because uh, when you're engaged and the hands, like I'd only have one hand available but this is there's a very specific spiritual anatomy to praying because it's the hand chakras basically connecting to the third eye and crown shooting your prayers up to the heavens up to the firmament through the firmament to the heavens now it's this is really powerful too so your prayers are being literally shot off by your hand chakras i mean they're being amplified by your hand chakras you don't need your hand chakras to do prayer but they help it really does help there's a chart online that shows it i wish i could show it in the youtube video but uh, I don't own the rights to the chart, so I won't post a chart. I'm very uh, selective as to what I post or what I share because everything is under my name. Florida Stone Man. Uh, you, can, you can do this with uh, different crystals as well. You can use your hand chakras on crystals as well. So if you'd like to detect what a crystal does... Hmm, I'm, I'm actually going to give you, you guys some really cool things. Put your hand over a crystal and after it's been freshly cleansed and charged and you'll just feel the crystal and you'll feel sting tingling, static, buzzing, or you'll just feel very, very faint energy, right? You might just feel warm. Sometimes when you do this, all you'll feel is just warm feelings. You, you'll think it's, ener I mean, you'll think it's just your hands getting warm. No, it's the energy you're supposed to be feeling. Now you put your hands over whatever part of whatever part of the crystal so let's just say it's a bracelet or it's a necklace you'll put your hands over the necklace and you'll really feel that energy now don't overthink it don't be like oh i don't feel anything you're feeling something but you're doubting your intuition if you think that so if the if you put your hands over something and let's just say you can go outside and go to a leaf put your hand over the leaf and then just wait for three words to pop into your head and that's what the leaf does so for example and when you get good at this, you can do it from a distance. So there's a grape leaf over there. And I put my hand, just, just you can feel energy from a distance. So you can detect. So uh, if you want to tell if someone's a good or a bad person, you just kind of like, kind of feel the, the energy of the air. And you're like, okay, the air feels kind of cold. This person's really bad. Like this is some bad news I'm getting. And then you'll, you don't want to feel it in your other chakras before you feel it in your hand chakra. So your hands can detect. They're literally antennas. Now, I'm going to teach you guys something really cool because sometimes you can tell, uh, not sometimes, you can always, for the people who have this gift open or who are who opening this gift, you're going to be able to tell and it's just something that's going to be secondhand nature to you. For the people still opening it, and it's very quickly open, like it does not take long. It's just, it becomes automatic, fully automatic after a certain point. Now, I'm going to give you guys a test to do. And this involves my website too floridastoneman.com go to floridastoneman.com and i wish i could show you guys take your left hand and put it over your right hand and move it over the pictures of the crystals i bless all my crystals you will feel a very very high energy from the crystals now go somewhere else online and do the same thing you might feel and just try it over different crystals some people might get the most reaction out of one crystal, which that means that's the crystal that'll help you the most, and that's the crystal you'll need. A lot of people, it's bloodstone, because that's a very underestimated crystal. So you'll just move your hand over different pictures of each crystal, because I cleanse and charge the crystals before I take pictures of them, which is very important. People don't do that. They'll just take tea. Uh, if people are actually using crystals, they're just using used crystals, which is 
you don't want even you don't want to even be picking up on that when you go checking out bracelets or something like that i mean at people's shows uh people will have display tables out and people are like oh these crystals feel different like this this crystal i feel it in my heart chakra and i've never felt this kind of crystal in my heart chakra it's because the person did not fully cleanse and charge it before someone else came along and grabbed it with their hand chakras put their energy into it and then the next person's grabbing it happens all the time that might explain a lot for a lot of you people watching the video, but uh, I went to a show and I picked up a crystal and I got a bad feeling from the crystal. It's because someone didn't cleanse the crystal and you picked up from, yeah, you picked it up, which is very in care. I mean, I'll teach you something. Okay, here, here's a, there's so many, I'm getting excited. There's so many endless possibilities. So if you never want to see someone again, you usually grab things with your right hand if you're a righty. I taught this in a video. If that person has some kind of bad vibes and you just want to put the energy off to not see them again or not have anything to do with them, wave at them with your left hand. If you normally do things with your right hand, then you won't really have to, it's an energetic, it's just symbolic. It says, hey, I don't want to see you again because you're bad news. Like you're not, you're going to be hurting my energy if you come around me and you'll wave at them with your left hand. If they come to give you a fist bump or a handshake and some people, with the handshake, people will catch it. Do it with your left hand and then you'll just never see the person again. Some people will get very, very, very angry when you do a hand, any kind of handshake with a left hand. So do a left hand fist bump. Pretend your hands are full, something like that. You'll, you won't see them again. <laughs> or when you see them again, if you do, if you have to see them again, uh, the energy will be very different. Like you'll be more guarded from that person's energy. Now, the hand chakra thing, a good test, because I have so many different crystals on my website, floridastoneman.com. Move your hand over each picture and you'll notice your hand chakras go crazy over certain gemstones. Like I said, most of you will be bloodstone. Some of you won't really feel the crystals such as rose quartz compared to uh, bloodstone or black tourmaline or black obsidian because the crystals, I mean the hand, when your hand chakras start flipping out over a certain crystal, it means that crystal has the most work to do energetically on you. So that's the most beneficial energy. Beneficial energy from any kind of crystal is the one your hand chakras flip out over the most. Oh, this is a really cool video. This is, there's endless possibilities. Okay, one last thing you guys can do with hand chakras because I can I can go on for days about what you, what you can do with your hand chakras. Take a word and for the people who watch my videos this long, you always get a reward at the end of the video. So take the word good news or abundance or the words good news, abundance, wealth, or you can just write a dollar sign on your right hand. You can do it on your left and, left and right hand. Do it with like a pen or makeup eyeliner, or whatever, whatever. And then money is just gonna flood in. Okay, I taught you guys something really powerful and uh, this really does work. And if you want healing, write healing on your hands because everything has power and it's, you're putting off frequency. You created a frequency, you put it on your hands, etc. I thought about people with tattoos on their hands with like broken hearts. They're always having bad relations and crying and stuff like that. It's because that's the energy they're putting off on their hand chakras. It's a really cool video. Check out my website, guys, floridastoneman.com and do the hand exercise I taught you there. Right hand over left hand. Or It's different for certain people because whatever is more comfortable for you. Uh, I've noticed uh, people who have more of a feminine energy will prefer to do the yin over the yang, the left hand over the right hand, the right hand over the left hand, etc. Find out what's most comfortable for you. Left hand over the right hand, you can do. Right hand over the left hand, it depends. It just really depends because that's up to you. Everyone has different energies about them, different zodiacs, different backgrounds, etc. But if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!